it's a very modern design. In some ways, it's like going to a museum, a little gallery. But it's also very much a family home. Hi, I'm David. Welcome to our house. Come on in. The home is about 6,000 square feet. It has four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. We lost a home on this piece of property to a catastrophic fire uh, in October of 2014. And so then we engaged with an architect. The home is designed with a couple of purposes in mind. We, we do a lot of collecting of art and we also do a lot of entertaining. And we thought the two functions worked well together. This is the gallery. I think of it as really the backbone of the design in the home. One of the really nice pieces in the gallery, and you can only get it with, with this kind of space, is this, is this large bird here. It's an African piece. When we saw this piece, after we'd already started the design of the house, we knew this is the place that it needs to be because it's gonna be the piece you're gonna see from the street. Even in our family spaces, we, we like to display art. Over here, we have a Carl Apple lithograph. And then over here, we kind of have one of our odd little mixes. Um, we have a Miro lithograph, and we have combined Miro with this bronze ship that is a piece of African tribal art. We love it. I don't know that it makes any sense to anybody else, but for us, it works, it works great. The house is designed with these long axes that run all the way through the house. This is one of my favorite. As you come through the front door and turn to your right, you come into and you get this long vista that goes all the way down the length of the house and you pass through a couple of living spaces into our dining room. The art was specifically selected to fit in that space, to draw your eyes and to draw you into the space in here. In between the dining room and that area is this living room library. I love to read, I love to accumulate books, I like to collect. I wanted a room for about 4,000 books. Um, the two levels accommodate that. This is the second floor area of the library. For me, some of my favorite books are up here. And the stuff that I'm proudest about is my fur trade and mountain man stuff. I've started buying some of the first editions of the accounts of some of these mountain men. And so that was really the inspiration for this particular piece of art over here. And what we have here is the Continental Divide, basically the Rocky Mountains running from Canada all the way down to Mexico below the fireplace. This is the Rio Grande River running right down through here. We have a vacation home in Taos, which would be somewhere along here. And then you've got the Arkansas, and I could bore you to death describing different features of the geography of that. The house that was here originally was one story. And we were like, well, you gotta have a second story on this house because of this magnificent view that's out here. Now, one of the building elements that we had, uh, that we added, uh, is this wood. This is a Japanese technique in this wood where the wood is charred to a certain point. And there's a certain irony in having it here because we lost the house that was here originally to a fire and it just seemed fitting to add some burned wood to the new house, yet it's a beautiful element in the design. Another quick feature, we have this outdoor store stairway, which has a very practical application, but it was real important to us surviving a fire. We wanted multiple ways to get out of the house. Every time you walk through the house, you get a different look into another room that you've never seen before. And so it's, there's always some, some new discovery. And we really enjoy having folks come to our home, be our guests. So I want to thank you for coming here today. I hope the tour has been interesting for you. It has certainly been interesting for me. And I look forward to seeing you come again. Thank you.